So David Ayer is responding to a fan about the Ayer cut. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Strong Arm Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame, and this is episode 32 of Strong Arm Flicks. So David Ayer, um, he's been slowly coming out and posting stuff about the Ayer cut, um, little bit by bit here and there over the last couple months. Um, really, he didn't start dropping a whole lot until uh, the November 17th um, tweet date, uh, where everybody came out and tweeted for the Snyder cut. And I am for one, a huge fan of the air cut, and it does not get nearly the amount of uh, support that I believe that it should be getting. I know a lot of our main focus is on the Snyder Cut, but at some point, guys, we've got to start the campaigning for the air cut. It's been much longer since the air cut came out. I've been waiting for four years for a director's cut. I just want to talk about this uh, um, tweet on Twitter that David Ayer um, responded to and it was to a fan and what it was is it was a picture of the Joker that David Ayer dropped a while back and he's got both of his hands together and he's down on his knees like going please or something like that I don't know doing some crazy looking shit and it's in the club scene with Monster T and if you look in the picture real close um, Monster T has got fucking Joker's gun in his right hand and in the theatrical cut of Suicide Squad, Joker uses his own gun and pulls it out, shoots Monster T in the head for, you know, having the nerve to check out his girl. And Monster T's like, no, Joker, that's your girl. And he's like, yeah, that's right. And he shoots him in the head. So here, this guy noticed it. Um, and I, you know what? I got to give credit to this fan because he noticed it and I didn't even notice it at first. Um, why does Joker have... Uh, or why does Monster T have Joker's gun? Well, a good buddy of mine, my boy Jeffrey, said that the Joker talked him into killing himself. But so David Ayer, he's seen this and he reposted it, this this post by the fan. Why does why why has he got Joker's gun? And David Ayer put above it, good catch. Basically, good eye, you know, <laughs> and he, with a winky face. So basically, you know, he's saying, you know, basically he's, David Ayer's putting out his own, his own breadcrumbs here and there, and I feel like he's not really putting out uh, as much as he would be if there was more of a push for this. At some point, like I said, we got to start this push for the air cut. Um, I noticed over on Twitter, there's the air cut uh, Twitter page is, uh, it's very unactive all the time. I can't never get a response from anybody on there um at some point um that doesn't mean that we got to stop campaigning for the snyder cut but at some point we've got to start campaigning seriously for the air cut we got to start getting this kind of information out there um now's the time the, the time is not and um another thing is that i wanted to talk about is just that you know there's just so much different in the air cut there's a scene in the movie you know, and this is the thing that I want people to know. A lot of people that just, even now, four years later, they're still same assholes on the internet, still trash talking Jared Leto's Joker. And the dude was in the movie for like five or six minutes, dude. Um, he filmed enough to make the make a whole entire Joker movie. Jared Leto said it was just about him and, and Harley Quinn. And he had five minutes in there, and the five minutes that we did see, they reshot. Like this scene right here, where he's looking at Monster T, and he's got his hands together, okay? they re In the movie, he pulls his gun out and shoots Monster T. In the air cut, he talks Monster T into shooting himself in the head. And that's what I'm talking about. That whole line where he says something about this handsome hunka hunka. That shit is all reshoots. Does that sound like some shit that the fucking Joker would say? That shit is studio interference. There's also a scene right after Batman captures Harley Quinn where he says, he took something from me, now I'm going to take something from him. That's what I'm talking about. Shit like that, okay? Another example, uh, Joker with the baseball bat going around beating people's fucking heads in. That shit's completely absent from the movie. 
um, the end of the movie, the third act, the alternate third act, um, in the air cut, the Joker, you know, which is in uh, the original trailer for Suicide Squad, the Joker, his face is half burnt up, and he's got a gun out, and he's like, bye bye and he throws a grenade and takes off running, okay? That's him confronting the Suicide Squad. And in the first trailer, that was the original third act, okay? You watch the movie, guess what? That scene is completely removed from the theatrical cut, all right? So the five minutes of, of footage that we did fucking get of Jared Leto's Joker is complete reshoots to fit the new tone of the movie. So we have absolutely no idea what Jared Leto's true Joker performance looks, feels, or even sounds like. And to me, it is very fucking important that this guy, you know, David Ayer and Jared Leto got fucked over. I mean, I it just, we, we've lost Will Smith as Deadshot. We've lost Jared Leto as Joker. And, and honestly, we've, as, I don't really care too much for uh, the fact that the Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn has taken over David Ayer's place. That's bullshit. Warner Brothers should have offered that gig up to David Ayer because David Ayer should have been able to at least release his director's cut or make a proper sequel and give the man a chance. And I'm ready to start campaigning for this shit. This is just proving that, once again, there is such a different cut out there, and we have yet to see it. That's the flick. And if you like what you see, like what you hear, please smash that subscribe button and ring that bell.